What's going on guys? My name is Garrett here on the Jobless Gamers channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the Jobless Gamer family today. With that said, today we have an update on what Rockstar plans to do with cheaters and people that modded their RP. Now, there's a recent article on their support page that talks about what actions are going to be taken. I'll be reading some of these questions. With the first question it says, I heard that Rockstar Games is taking action against players who cheated to gain illegitimate RP. Is this true? The answer that Rockstar gave is, in order to keep Grand Theft Auto fair for everyone, we are removing illegitimate RP from accounts of players who hacked or modded to get ahead. The next question Rockstar has in the support page is, is this a one-time RP correction or an ongoing process to identify cheaters who cheat to gain levels? The answer they gave is both. The first round of RP correction will occur on 5 2014 today to remove illegitimate rp all the way back to gta Online's launch in october 2013 after that we'll be running continual automated sweeps to identify and correct rp violations so what does this mean today if you log into gta online and you did any kind of rp cheating or modding then you are most likely probably level one so that's the thing so Rockstar took into consideration, what if, you know, it wasn't you that did the RP modding? What if it was your friend, your brother, your friend's brother's cousin's dog, sister? Don't worry, they have this question covered. It says, my little brother's cousin's best friend was visiting my house in December 2013 and somehow did something that increased my rank to 1000. I had nothing to do with it, so don't mind a rank correction. But will my account face any further action? Rockstar answers this question with, we don't plan on taking further action beyond RP reduction when the first round of correction hits on 5 2014 for players whose accounts show limited modification. That's today. But please be warned accounts to be found hacking or modding to generate illegitimate amounts of RP after today, 5 20, will be subject to further action at our discretion, such as time in the cheater pool or bad sport pool. And repeat offenders may also have their accounts reset, experience bans, or have all their GTA cash removed other than unspent shark card funds. The last question I'm going to go ahead and read off to you guys is if you gained a lot of RP by farming a mod or a mission. The question says, I gained a ton of RP in 2013 without hacking or modding by taking advantage of certain mission bugs and exploits before they were fixed. Will my RP be adjusted? The answer is, your RP should only be adjusted if you participated in mods, hacks, DNS redirects, manipulation of cloud files, or other similarly inferior behavior. If you grinded short legitimate missions or otherwise gained a small amount of RP without modding, your RP should not be affected by this correction. So if you farmed Rooftop Rumble, if you farmed any race that was around you know 7,000 for every 30 seconds, you will be fine as long as you do not use a DNS code or hacked your console in order to get ahead, you will not have a reset. So hopefully this information does help you guys out. I am going to do my best to keep you guys on top of anything dealing with GT Online in these next few days. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let's go for a thousand likes. And if you guys are unaware, I will be live streaming tonight at twitch.tv slash Stop on by, come hang out, and play with me some GT Online. Later, guys.